Hey guys, welcome back to the Matrix Man Info and today we're going to discuss another topic and it is who is the wealthiest or the richest man on earth? I mean by default there are some names that might popped up in our mind and names such as Bill Gates, uh, Warren Buffett, even Mark Zuckerberg and you know maybe your favorite rapper or movie stars and stuff like that and to be frank none of these individual would able to amass the amount of wealth in particular to this one person that we're going to discuss today and his name is Mansa Musa and he was a king in Mali back in his reign and Mansa Musa have amassed well over 400 billion dollars um, equivalent in our modern era and like I said we haven't heard much of him um, in our literature or our history book um, funny enough I mean we have research to find these data. Yes, you can have different maybe articles and different books that have been written regarding him. But in terms of being general knowledge, this wasn't general knowledge for us. If you was to ask anyone off the back, I mean, like I said, you're going to get some kind of familiar name which you may not even portray. So he was a black man or whatever that is. But to see a man half his stature at the time that, you know, like I said, who was massively a wealthy individual at the time, and not only did he have this wealth, but he also shared his wealth among the needy at the time in his reign. Within his reign, he also was able to conquer well over 24 cities at a time. And also we know that his familiar connection with Mecca. And obviously he was a strong believer in, in his Muslim faith. So like I said, he was highly devoted Muslim in his time. So in terms of, like I said, why was this particular black man being neglected or ignored in our history and also in our dialogue for such a long time, it's quite a mystery. So like I said, he also, like I said, contributed a lot of his wealth and also building up um, Timbuktu at that time, the, the high seat of learning and also for finance and different things, culture, art and stuff like that, which was taking place in Timbuktu within his era. So like I said, we didn't we didn't really, like I said, come across this information until, you know, recent in times of we not necessarily have access to a lot of our artifacts from Africa. I mean, a lot of people are always associate themselves with Egypt, but like I said, a lot of stuff that was been happening in different parts of Africa that also could able to even outrun what took place in Egypt, given the fact that Egypt is also a child of Ethiopia, given the fact that people always assume that, I mean, most of the legacy and history and everything is in Egypt. But like I said, Ethiopia have more history when it compact, when it as comparison to what take place in Egypt. So overall, like I said, we can see that none of the modern day men of our time do amass the amount of wealth as this one individual. So like I say, it might be a shock to many of you who are watching this video. So if you didn't know about this or you do know about this one individual, Mansa Musa, you can leave your comment in the comment section below on this video and then we can discuss this some more in greater depth. So like I say, I'm the Matrix Man and I'll like always, think outside of the box. Peace. I put the